how to use Bezier line tool in Corel Draw. Simply head to the draw panel when you got those different line tools. Click and hold so you can see all of them. There's a Bezier option. Select that. And now you'll be able to draw your lines. If you just keep clicking with this tool, you will get this straight line. And the nodes will be sharp nodes. Just like that. But if you click and hold, I didn't release my mouse, I'm still holding my mouse you will be able to create those curvy lines. Keep in mind, you are not only curving the line behind, the one we see, but we are affecting the next line. So take a look, if I click here, even I just click once, it's supposed to be straight line, but no, because we curve this point, the next line, it's also a bit curved, but if I click next one, next one is straight again. So that's important to remember. Whenever you curve the line, the next one will be curved a bit too, to match with that curve point. So that's kind of the biggest challenge for new users to simply understand that the next line, we don't have the full control on that. It's a bit curvy because of the previous point as well. If you need the full shape, you should always go back to the starting points. In my case, it's just a line. If I wanna stop drawing it, I can change the tool to any other tool and then I will end up with simple line. I don't need to continue using this tool. So it's a rather similar tool to pen tool. And we got these two user cases. Clicking for straight line or click and hold so you can curve your line. If you want to stop drawing, you can switch to different tool or press space bar. There are several options we can adjust while using the tool. So let's try it once more. Click and hold so you can see the full list in case you cannot see the Bezier tool. Just click and hold, see the list, and then we can start using it. Or you can double tap on the tool so you will be able to see those additional options for that tool. Keep in mind when you are drawing your curves, you can always go back to them. So I finished drawing by pressing the space bar and now I can edit those nodes. So those nodes can be still move around and the angles can be adjusted. You can even add a new node if you really need. Or you can delete existing node by pressing backspace on your keyboard delete button. So keep that in mind even you make some small mistakes by white drawing your lines. Don't delete the whole thing. Just fix them using the node tool here at the top, the second selection tool for editing curves. All right, I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next video.